Hello, good people of the internet. Today we're playing Dibrary, as in the word library and the word die mixed in, um, which is, in the dev's own words, a fast-paced arena roguelite uh, where you must fight through thousands of enemies to make it out alive. So if it sounds like any other survivor-like game, then that is because it probably is one. But let's play it and let's find out exactly what it's all about. Um, the reason why it's, you know, mixed with the word library is because there are kind of stories, I think, uh, in, yeah, it's weapon diary. Uh, you click, you can create a new story. Um, and if you're playing in multiplayer, it's like async multiplayer and you can play with someone else and the story changes depending. Uh, so I guess at the moment we can only do solo yourself and we'll be instantly moved to the next chapter after you successfully vote on the plot twist. So yes, but just you and yourself will play on the plot twist. Um, and already there is a choice. So we have a forest, which is set in deep magical forest, or we could have the mountain, which has is more dangerous, I guess, but has more currency. So let's go with the forest because this is our first run. Uh, then we select a hero. At the moment, I assume we haven't got any of these heroes, so we are going to choose Elf and Ranjar. Um, and then they have different weapons, but again, you have to unlock these. So the first weapon that I will have is a wand. Um, the This Elf, no, sorry, they're a monk, aren't they? But their name is Elf. Uh, they have two skills, or they have... Um, yeah, they are an elven ranger that controls his enemies' movements with traps and targeted strikes. Their skill is a wooden trap, a trap that slows enemies that walk over it for a short time. And their passive ability is a ranger's mark, which a nearby enemy will be marked and when hit, a small explosion damages and slows the enemies. Sure, I'm sure we'll learn, that, uh, you know, we'll learn a bit more when we play. Perks and unlocks, well, we don't have any of these currencies, but there's paper scraps. Lost Scrolls, Magic Tombs, tombs, and um, yes, you have to, okay, that one looks like it's unlocked by a mission, and uh, yes, it tells you how to unlock all these things, so, oh yes, your mission to unlock the bow is to kill 100 eye bats, there you go, and that's how you unlock the next one, anyway. Let's, how do I get out of this menu? Back. Let's just play. Tip upgrading one or two. No, that was too quick. And this is requiring uh, aiming. So it's not just a let the game do it for you. Is that part of my one? So health on the ground. Uh, all the crystals are experience points. I may just go turn these down down a trickle. I think it's coming through a bit loud. Uh, just do that. So yes, what we can select an upgrade now, and the upgrade effects. These what I have to click. Okay, so it's game one pierce. All weapons get more projectile, but they do less damage. Um, okay. So my weapon only has one projectile, so an extra projectile is probably a good thing. Or poison coated weapons. Or acid bottles. Let's go with. Oh, it even tells you what it affects. And you can see what else is in the tree. So let's let's upgrade and have more projectiles. I don't know if these barrels are things that we want to be unlocking or like hitting. And also, it's. Um, highlighting an enemy. I'm not quite sure what the reason for that is. Anyway, so we can do Ignite, which will uh, deal slightly increased damage. 
only increase damage and not like gonna set them on fire. Tesla coil up to your feet that zaps enemies with chain lightning. Or it's trap moderately. I can't even speak today. Moderately increase attack size. Do I need an attack size increase? I mean, this has more things on the tree. Is this. This is uh, my guy's special abilities. Let's go with. Is this a. This is another weapon, right? Let's go with another weapon, maybe. Is that like an extra weapon? I oh, know. It's an actual Tesla coil. Something gets planted, so we need to be. Oh, those are things I need to attack as well. Okay, next upgrade then. Call for a pet to AG. I sure. Do I have any pets? You rescued Bucky the Unicorn. Attacks with a giant stomp to damage enemies in a wide area. Awesome. Oh, it's like a jester. Um, release rats in the direction you're facing that march in a line to attack enemies. Uh, chaining attacks. Attacks chain through one more enemy. So chaining could be useful, or pierce. There's lots of enemies now, so maybe pierce is a good idea. I don't know if that is a boss of some kind, or an elite rather than a boss. Uh, you gained enough experience to level up, of course. Uh, increase attack rate. I haven't actually been holding down the button, but I suppose I could. And powerful magic. Damage. Greatly increased damage and gains three ammunition. So if I'm going to do that, I might as well get that. Or is that my pet? Right, I've been running away from my pet this whole time. I say whole time, last couple of seconds. Okay, so now, with all the things I have, it's starting to just kill random things around me. Um, so we can have chaining attacks or uh, only a spark. Attacks and pets can gain a small chance to ignite. Yeah, but what's... That's fine. Rat parade. Release rats or throw acid bottles on the ground randomly that deal damage over time. Sure, let's just get as many random things. I don't know how many weapons we can have at a time. Let's have it all. Uh, you gained enough experience to level up. Attacks and pets gain a small chance to doom enemies, but lose a small amount of direct damage. Okay. Wand, every third attack is massively larger and deals triple damage. Yeah. But we can't go down this path? Is there a reason that it's locked? It's just chosen this one for me? Or is that only if I upgrade? So the enemies aren't just ones which will come run towards you. They are staying away and firing and doing things that maybe make more sense for them, which is good. Uh, picking up XP slightly boosts your movement speed, attack rate, and charge rate. Five seconds. Well, we'll be doing that quite a lot, so let's do that. Um, so we could have a heart. I mean, we have, there are loads of heart pickups, so I don't know if uh, healing is 
what we need at this time. Massively, massively increase all pet damage and attack size. Come on then, upgrade. I thought you were supposed to be a unicorn anyway. Looks more like a small flying cat. Do unicorns have wings? Now we're getting too philosophical. Um, enemies hit by an attack with Pierce begin to bleed. Um, I suppose this affects more things, so I'll go for that one. To ignite enemies, even though it doesn't really seem like it's doing damage over time, like you would expect. I pressed space and there is this other ability which I don't know if I've had it all along. Was that my passive ability? But I've now used it. Um, so we have a choice. Oh yeah, so it's only because it's rolled that. That's fine. So we, we can choose between greatly increasing damage and attack size or Moderately increased damage, slightly increased projectile speed, and a portion of your projectile speed is added as damage. But what affects the projectile speed in the future? I know, we'll just go with this one for now. I don't know if that then evolves, because that's the end of that tree, but it's had an arrow pointing down. Right, I have to remember to actually keep firing, even though I have things doing things. So much XP around. There's a book here or something. Rescue the trapped pets. Where are they trapped? Are they a pet if they don't belong to me? I mean, they're someone else's pet. Another two pets come to your aid. Sure. Attacks. Uh, Bucky the unicorn again. And there was supposed to be two pets. I don't know if my pets could accidentally die or something. Right, I have to defeat 47 enemies in this area. Right, I rescued someone. I didn't see their name because I was too busy shooting things and getting hit by things. There are lots of enemies. Anyway, um, in Massively increase all pet cooldown speed. Massively increase cooldown speed. So it cools down faster. I think is what it's trying to tell me. Um, or pierce. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Um, okay, Mod uh, what do we have? Moderately increase attack size, tighter spread, moderately increase damage, increase damage to nearby targets, uh, everything's nearby, I don't know how nearby, or ignite deals greatly increase damage, go on then, let's have that. Some kind of boss. I leveled up, but is it because I picked something up? I don't know. Uh, what do we have then? Because this is slightly different. Or maybe because I reached a certain level milestone. So increase cooldown speed and attack rate at the cost of some damage. Add one projectile and one split. 
or to split. Each point of split causes projectiles to split into an extra projectile after hitting an enemy. I see. Massively increased knockback as well as potency of all elements. Uh, knockback could be useful, but I mean, they're all just dying. Um, so let's go with projectile count for now. Yes, I don't know if that was a level up or if it was because I hit the thing. Anyway, it's saying Act 2. I can't see anything around. So I'll just collect all this H uh, XP. It's a book in that tree. Um, attacks and pets gain a large chance to ignite enemies. Or when an enemy with ignite dies, the ignite spreads to four nearby enemies. I think that one's a good one. However, then there's a new tree. Evolve the mark switch wand. First time your attack hits an enemy, gain a small damage bonus, up to doubling damage. Missing removes this bonus. Okay. But I fire a lot of projectiles, so do the missed ones count as... Like, does it count as hitting if I miss and hit at the same time? Um, or the Tesla coil. So this is improving the Tesla coil. Um, gets extra things. I feel like we should go up this tree. Sure. Like, because it splits, it's... Is it counting? It's, I don't know. Um, what is this? Rat Parade. Should we get the Rat Parade? Enable Kill Streak. Uh, killing enemies one after another. Temporarily increases the strength of the related. Yeah, sure. Or the Rat Parade. Right, let's go with rats. Would be nice if there was like a way to know if there was some pick up somewhere else that they've missed. Uh, you gained enough experience, sure. Big stick to just to increase damage. I think they're better, better things. Every 10 seconds of constant moving, your pickup range massively increases. Sure. I like the sound of that. What happens if I stop? Does it keep increasing? I assume that was what that noise was. We'll see, see if we can hear that noise again without stopping. Another boss. Uh, elemental consistency. Attacks gain a moderate chance to inflict any ailment you currently have, which is only one. I, I guess it does this uh, color mean that it's slightly rarer? I don't know. Slice through, and he's hit by an attack with pierce, begin to bleed. Okay, bleed is good. Slightly increase attack rate. If you collect HP drops fast enough, enter a phase state for seven seconds. What is a phase state? Does not tell me. And therefore, we will get it. So there's another trapped pet somewhere. Okay, so we can improve the acid or impatient ranger. Increase the frequency of ranger's mark. Which one was ranger's mark again? What does this lead to? Attack size of ranger's mark. Ranger's mark stays on enemies longer. I don't know which one ranger's mark is. Is it is my passive then? I don't know, let's just get it and see what happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know how long a run is supposed to run, uh, last for. Uh, where your nightmares and the rat raid. Release rats behind you as well. What does... This does the most to most things. Let's get this. Yes, that sounds good. Yeah, we were supposed to be getting this at 114 enemies to free the pets. Somehow, the locking mechanism is attached to the lives of all the things trying to attack me. Gain two more pierce. Okay. Go on then. That's half pierce. So that when there's lots and lots of enemies, that I kill them all. You rescued Rotson. Constantly bombards enemies with poison gas. Lots of uh, sons do that. And what can we have? We can have deliberate damage, which slightly increases damage, slightly reduce projectile speed. Doesn't sound that good. Um, tighter spread. And increase damage. Yes, go on then. Is that because I was moving for so long? Or because I hit a magnet or something? It's a trap. Uh, increase the attack size of the trap. Right. Okay. Not really using that trap too much, though, am I? Uh, increase attack rate. Go on. That's... Must have hit the um, magnet or something. Yeah, let's get the rat. Yes. Um, so we can go down this tree and now we have a choice. So we can either reduce ammunition by three but pierce two additional enemies and gain a massive increase of damage and knockback, or every third shot will ignite enemies. But we're already igniting enemies. Oh no, with some percentage, but still. Let's, I'm okay with reduced ammunition, I think. So let's go with that one. And then next, so we can just increase damage or bigger is better. Attack size gone. Have some of that then. I guess maybe they're not elites or anything, they're just enemies who come running up to you faster. That's fine. Um, increase movement speed. I like movement speed. Let's have some of that. Lots of experience over here. In fact, there's now loads of these fast guys. They're annoying because they're fast, but, you know. What can you do? Oh, I, I understand now what the, um... The mark is, this thing, is my guy's special ability. Just worked it out. Probably people shouting at home. Um, so I have a choice again. Might as well go up this tree. We can either have enemies to bleed and bleed deals more damage and a chance to recover ammunition. Um, if, guaranteed if careful shooter has full stacks. I don't know. I... I because I have a widespread if I'm getting that or not, if that's something different. Um, or every second hit or kill on a specific enemy summons 
an additional lightning strike on them, and every seventh hit with any weapon summons a lightning strike on a random enemy. I like random lightning. Because as you can see, random lightning is great. Because with the pierce that I have, it's just... Um, you know, hitting loads and loads of enemies anyway. Okay, so we can improve the acid. Gain one. Or we can go for movement speed. Skill cooldown. I'm not really using my skills, am I? Chain attacks. That affects a couple of things. Come on, let's have chain attacks. Um, Prison Fly Boss, the sky's hateful grace. So there's a boss. I don't know that thing. Oh, stop attacking my pets. Um, yes, that was a boss. So our choice is massively increased damage, but you can no longer knock enemies back and halve your stun and chill chance. Increase knockback and potency of all those things, but lose damage. Or attack with your primary weapons, always chill enemies, and the enemies that you touch receive chill permanently. Or enemies that touch you. Let's go with just increasing damage, because I like me some damage. Right, so now this is Act 3. And yes, I noticed just before that boss that the uh, timer at the top is actually counting down. Um, all weapons get one more projectile. Sure. And another trapped pet in this direction. Just because there were lots of enemies killed here. Um, what do we want then? Increased damage and greatly increased primary weapon knockback. I mean, increased damage is good. Poison and attack rate. I just like damage at this point in time. I don't know if I had a, um, some kind of buff there. Probably, as soon as we've now slowed down again. Um, what is this? Final form. The first time you attack, your attack hits an enemy, gain a moderate damage bonus. Up to triple bonus. Missing removes the bonus, yes. Um, at max that scheme, massively increase reload speed. Okay, I suppose we go with that. Because it's our final form. Right, 250 enemies. Again, must have hit some kind of magnet. I haven't seen it on the floor, but I must be stepping on something. Secondary weapon attack size and slightly increased primary weapon. Or chain moderately harder, losing some power as they chain. Attacks that chain hit harder, losing some power as they chain. Um, do, are they harder or do they lose power? Does that mean that they chain more? I don't know. Let's go with that. Right. We have rescued Bucky the Unicorn again. I feel like these unicorns need a. Uh, differentiating names. And then, so kill streak or Tesla coil to have an extra 
Let's, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I'll just run into things. Running into things works, sure. Straight shooter, sacrifice your chain to gain a massive damage increase and your split to an even larger damage increase. Maybe. I mean, I like my chain, but I feel like I may be sure to get those things. Given that my damage is way too high for all these enemies. Okay, so we can do things with rats. Either double in attack size and greatly increase damage, or gain three more rats, and rats gain three pierce. Or improve the uh, puddles, but let's go with um, let's go with pierce for rats. Piercing rats, because that is something that makes sense. Although those rats are now all coming out the same. I oh, know. They will just come out the same angle anyway. Right, so we have two minutes to survive, apparently. Uh, attacks and pets gain a small chance to poison. Rats now pierce everything in the way, yes, or release rats above and below you. Let's go with that one. Multi-dimensional rats. What do we want this time? Cooldown uh, speed, more chaining, even though we maybe gave up our chaining. Guess that. Because I'll be giving up more, or do I just get it back? I don't know. Did I even give it up in the first place? Did I take it and now it's also been given back? All these questions and more, less, will be answered. As soon as I work it out. Which I may never do. Right, so uh, it can improve the Tesla coil. We can go both ways. Uh, chain back to the same target and gain two chain. Moderately increase attack rate. Gain one chain and moderately increase Tesla coil damage. Let's just go with that. Is someone drinking something? Should I use the uh, this thing? Is it going to do anything? It's a trap. It's a trap. Okay, so we're into the last minute. There's understandably lots of enemies. We're understandably way too powerful for them. Well, I don't think... Oh, is, it, is it really going to matter? Let's get this one because it's high up the tree. I don't know if there's somewhere we should be aiming for. There's a piece of paper here. Right, 14 seconds to save another pet. I don't think we're going to do it. I'll be honest. Um, what's this? Minor travesty. What tax and pets gain a small chance to doom? I don't know if I want that. Let's get this one then. Large chance to ignite enemies. Yes, please. Uh, 
the Dreamer, the Abyss, strikes back. Are we not supposed to be able to kill this guy? Victory. Did I defeat them? And several achievements. So I've unlocked the bow. More, even more achievements. Or are these um, unlocks? I don't know. I think they're achievements. Uh, story review. How difficult was that chapter? I mean, easy. Is this a uh, feedback? I mean, it wasn't difficult. Let's call it easy. How did the chapter feel? I don't know if this is uh, something that happens on every thing, but I suppose we could just skip the review. We'll do it once. Um, how did the chapter feel? Frantic, relentless, crowded, stressful, demanding. Demanding, because, you know, demanded that we kill all the enemies. And our favourite thing was, I don't know. Well, it was my... If you're not going to give me all the answers. Because uh, it wasn't any of these were, you know, not my favourite. I you know that. Like, I preferred some of these things to some of those things. Vote progress. You have earned a vote for a new plot twist. These are plot twists and they drastically affect the gameplay of your future chapters in your story. Place your vote and author the story's future now. So we can have bird eyes, your eyes become worse after each act. Oh, is it ironic that it says bad eyes and I read it as bird eyes? Yeah. Um, Berserker, when you have two or less hearts remaining, gain increased attack charge, start the chapter at half health. Brute Trio, the climax of Act 2, is a team of brutes that will work together to defeat you. Falling Folk Dance, the third act features choreographed assaults of enemies. Infestation, when blimpies explode, they spew a horde of mosquitoes. Uh, summertime Salsa, the second act is played with panicked shriekers. Um, blimpies. And then, you know, oh, are we going to get that? Oh no, this is just votes cast this chapter. Anyway, so I killed 7,385 enemies. And I got a score of 82,000 from that. Well. Perks and unlocks, do I go there next? So yeah, it says I survived. I got all these upgrades. Current twist. Um, so yeah, so I picked up all these things. Scraps, I didn't pick up any magic tomes. Um, so I could buy this perk for 10 of those. That seems pretty good. But that's just increasing the game speed. What would that do? Don't know. Uh, damage per rank. So if I buy that, and then it gets more expensive. Okay, fair enough. Uh, increase attack size by 10% per rank. Yeah, so buy the cheap ones. Regenerate one half heart every uh, number of seconds. That one says it's free. The first one is free. Okay. I pick up range, increases by 15%. And it says it's refundable, so you can refund it to get your points back. Uh, knock back. Increase ailment patency. Reload 4% faster. I like reloading. Reduce all cooldowns. Reduce your character's cooldown. One extra heart. Oh, that's on this thing. So then these are different lost scrolls. I see. Therefore more expensive as far as I'm concerned because we were not able to get as many of those. Fine. So, you know, just not that I know really what good that is. More damage, more good. More attack size. And 
more regen, or no, quicker regen, really. Cool. So that's all that. Um, characters and weapons. Oh, these are all missions, right? There's nothing. Oh no, these are purchasable. So you can purchase, I mean, in its own currency. Um, currently you unlock Nicola's scope as a secondary weapon. Or the Barbarian as a playable character. And Phoenix Bombs as a secondary weapon as well. So yeah, there are things that you would unlock here. It's like this thing I could have unlocked, the boomerang, if I was paying attention. But I apparently went on for other things. Oh yeah, that was unlocked by a perk. Cool. So I need to kill 200 streakers, which maybe I should have got uh, that story change. How do I? Yes, every time. Cool. In fact, if we go back to perks unlocks, there was plot twist in there, so you can uh, unlock or purchase different uh, twists for the future, but you will need, if you're purchasing them, magic tomes, or unlocking them as still missions. And... Oh no, some of those will be based on purchasing this using scraps and scrolls and stuff. Cool. Um, so this is Dibury. Uh, I assume that I could keep playing that story. Back to stories, yeah. So this is where we are. We, we have like that one story thing. And I can choose this character and, and a bow and start playing. And then the twist up for vote at the end of this level, I'll show you in the bottom here. As I say, this is Dibury. Um, this key has been provided by the developer slash publisher. So many thanks to them. Um, if you're interested, check out the game. But uh, and if you've liked the video, please leave a, a like. If you think you would like more like this, then there's you know similar other things on the channel. But subscribe to uh, be notified and whatnot. Um, but ultimately, I want you to have a great day wherever it is you are. And thanks for watching.